I'm going to make this short and sweet. Um, I had never tried Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee before, and everybody said, you know, it's the best coffee in the world, etc. So I came across a, um, I came across a um, website, gembluecoffee.com, and so I ordered, I ordered half a pound of 100% Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee beans. Uh, medium roast. This, this package says ground, but uh, no, these were beans. Um, I got the um, I got the um, the coffee yesterday. Okay. And this says this says what? Jack Rug. I guess that's Jamaica. I don't know something. Gold standard winner, 2018. 100% Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee. Yada yada yada. Whole beans, half a pound. This this half a pound. It came in. It came in like one of these bags with a little official, little official thing on it. And this was mailed to me allegedly from uh, Kissimmee, Florida. Whatever, wherever. I. It doesn't matter. Actually, um, Orlando, Florida, was where this this was received or sent out. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I really don't, but uh, this is the most horrific coffee I've ever tasted. Um, I had a lot of a lot of expect expectations for this. Um, it tasted it tasted stale. The coffee tasted stale, and it tasted. I got this paper taste in my mouth while I was drinking it, and in the back of my mouth after I swallowed, like paper. I mean, the coffee, I mean, this is like, this coffee, is, it just, it tasted stale and it tasted like paper. And they've got this thing here at the back of this card. I mean, this, is, this, this was included in the, in the envelope. Uh, once you go blue, other coffees just won't do. Well, I beg to differ based on my experience. Um, the coffee itself came in a, a, um, an alumina, a plastic aluminum vinyl, whatever the hell it's called, uh, bag with a sealable plastic zip at the top, which I appreciated, but this coffee was perfectly bad, and I'm, I mean, it cost me 40 bucks, basically, or 30, 36, 37 dollars plus, you know, shipping and handling, so we're talking a little over 40 bucks. Um, what I had, what I had read was that Japan, I mean, first of all, these guys make very little coffee, they make like, you know, 1% of the world's coffee, and Japan basically scoops up 80% of their, of their, of their, of their produce every year. And I've been to Japan, and I've had coffee in Japan, and it's fantastic. I mean, I don't know what the deal is, but this coffee that I got from jambluecoffee.com was uh, was horrifically bad. It it tasted like it tasted like um, there was a, it was it was it tasted like stale coffee, and I had a paper I had a paper aftertaste while I was drinking it and after I had swallowed. So I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I'm glad I finally, after all these years, you know, I've been hearing about Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee and everybody raving about it. Uh, I'm glad I finally tried it, but I burned over 40 bucks for half a pound of coffee, most of which is in the garbage right now. So that was my experience. That's my experience, and to each his own, but um, I'm very disappointed.